What is going on people of the world, it is Patrick here and today I'm bringing you my ultimate guide to the new ExoZombies map, Infection. In this video, basically, I am going to show you everything there is to know about this map. If you're new to this map, this is going to be a great video for you. I'm going to take you on a walkthrough of the map, showing you everything, like locations of perks and guns and things like that. I'm going to help you with the boss round, as well as the survivor round, and really just show you how to get to a high round on this map. If you want to leave a like, that'd be cool. If you want to subscribe, that'd also be cool. But, let's get into it. All right, so we're going to start this video off with a complete walkthrough of the map, just going through everything, showing you where everything is. Now, when you spawn in, you're going to be in this squarish looking room. There is a generator, which you should turn on right away, as it will turn on Exomedic. This perk is uh, 500 points in solo, pick you back up if you go down, just like Quick Revive and Treyarch Zombies. The MK14 is on the wall for 500 points, not really the greatest gun, wouldn't recommend it. We also have the mystery box right here, actually one of the locations. Now, the other gun over here is the Bulldog for 500 points, not really a great gun, but I mean, if you really want it, you can get it. Weird enough, I've actually had the mystery box spawn in on here. I'm not sure if that's a glitch or it's supposed to happen. It doesn't seem to very often, but it has happened to me once. Up on this top little platform is actually where survivors will go when you have to rescue them. That's kind of for another part in the video, but just keep that in mind. Now, when we're leaving this area, we have two options. The first is the value voltage, it's called. I think it's kind of like an electricity kind of area. That door is 1,500 points. Atlas Command is also 1,500 points. And basically, as they always do, it's just a big circle. Whichever way you go, you get to the main objective, which is Burger Town. So looking around here, we have the AMR9, which is a pretty good gun for 1,000 points. I really recommend buying it. I think it's the most efficient gun for getting kills on an early round and building points. Moving into this building right here, as you just see the map, uh, this building right here has another generator, which you're going to want to turn on. It's going to turn on... I believe that's Exo Slam over here. Uh, as you can see, this is actually a pretty big open area. Pretty good for training down the road. Not my favorite, but this is going to be somewhere where you may have to train if you have multiple people. As for over here, there's really not a lot going on. We have another door, which uh, not right here. It kind of looks like one, but just straight across here for 1,000 points. The only thing in there is just a mystery box location. I didn't bother opening it because it's just... Uh, number one, I didn't have the money, but also there's just not a lot going on in there. So that is this first little area. Now the second uh, place to go from here is the sewer system. So to get to the sewer, you basically want to go to the back, the far back of the command and open up the door, which will take you into a sewer junction. It's just basically one of the areas in this whole sewer system. So we have the TAC-19 on the wall there. Not really great, not really worth it. I wouldn't recommend it. There is another generator here, and this one's just for a trap. Um, it's called the, the instigator and then basically it's like this big dinosaur alligator kind of thing that will claw up and just attack the zombies decent whatever but it's not overly useful um, this is just a whole bunch of water you can swim in it I would not recommend getting caught here you'll likely die and then back here we have an area with actually two really important things number one we have uh, another mystery box location and we also have a decontamination zone so this is a pretty good area if you are on the infected round you're definitely going to have to go down here which honestly I, I hate this area it's just really annoying that you have to go down here because once you're down here it's really hard to get out so you kind of have to stay down here that once you get infected just kind of inconvenient not really my favorite thing about this area but uh, it is what it is this is basically just a, a, a way path this area don't think of this whole sewer system as somewhere where you're going to train or go this is just entirely a way path you're not trying to stay here for long if you do you are very likely to get cornered and, and you will die especially with no power weapon on this map no cauterizer the the uh, new gun is pretty passive now when you come around this corner you're going to come into the exosuit which is great you finally grab that awesome and now you're going to be faced with two doors so one leads to essentially burger town there's one little section and then to burger town and then this one over here to the right is basically back at the spawn it's kind of that loop that we were talking about that is to the voltage uh, area so we're going to go back and look at the voltage starting from the spawn room. Now there would be a $1,500 door here, but I had already opened it. And you're going to go out into this kind of gas station looking area. Again, this area is really good to train, probably my favorite. We have Exo Soldier right there for 1,750 points. And if you come around here, there is this kind of tanker thing that you can climb up on. And there's going to be a gun up here, which is good. It's the MP11, pretty solid SMG. Now I just want to point out that there's like an area over there 
there that I thought you could get to and, and you can't. Just just know that that area is kind of off limits. It's just, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, as, as there, as you can see, is the MP11. So again, really good spot for training, nice open. You can open this area up and there are two things in here. So first off, there is actually a mystery box location, as you can see right there. It tends to spawn there. And then there is a power, which I don't actually show it, but on the other side, the opposite side of the wall um, to the mystery box location, there is a spot where you can upgrade your gun. So that $2,500 upgrade, you can kind of see it uh, in the image right there. But basically, that is the voltage room, and not a lot, but a great spot for training. And then as you come down here, we are essentially back to where we started. So this is uh, the explosive drone right there, and then this is where we were just were. So that's the area, again, as you can see now, it's just all a big loop. And finally, we're going to look at the last area of this map. So that's where we came from the voltage. We're now going to go on to Burger Town. So we have a door right here for 2000 points. It's just a sewer junction. It's not actually Burger Town itself. And there's going to be this kind of winding, twisting area that we're going to go through. And then that will finally take us all the way to Burger Town itself, which is a pretty good area. I mean, it's a little hyped up, but it's pretty good. We got Exo Reload right here. That's 2000 points. I would get that. We also have contact grenades for 750. Absolutely necessary. Just amazing, especially for going through this section. And then we have a generator. Now I'm gonna go back through here because the first time I came through, I got lost. And it's not that complicated, but if you're going through for your first time, it can be. So this is how you do it. You go right, left, right, left. So this is a right, and then you're gonna take a left, okay? Got it? Pretty basic. Then you're gonna take a right, and then if you wanna go back to where you came from, you take a left, or I guess you could take a right again into uh, this other area. And then the way back is gonna be just the same. So you're gonna go right, well not through there, but right through here, and then left, and then right, and then left. This area kind of reminded me of that place in Die Rise down on the very bottom floor that's really confusing. But just remember, right, left, right, left, that will get you good every single time. Not that confusing as it really is, but just can be if you're not sure where you're going. And then finally, we have one more door for 2,000 points to Burger Town itself. So here it is, the hype. I mean, I don't know what this place is supposed to be, but this is Burger Town. Now, there's some good stuff here, I guess you could say. We have Jug, we have a box, we have an upgrade spot, and that's really it. A couple cool traps, but it's also a pretty good spot to train. So running around here, it's kind of like one big circle around the actual Burger Town itself, as you can see here. A lot of like things in the way, but for the most part, pretty straight, pretty easy to train. That's our Exo Health right there. Get that, of course you want it, 2,500 points absolutely crucial. And like I'm saying, you can just kind of loop around and just see how it's one big circle, which makes it pretty good for training, I would recommend. Now you can go up onto, uh, oh, there's also a trash chute there, just that'll take you back to the sewer. But you can go up onto this area, and it's again, it's kind of like a big circle. We have a trap like right there in that corner there. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's like an ordnance strike, just drops missiles. And then we have the H, uh, what's that called? The HBRA3. Now dropping down into the middle here of actual Burger Town, we have a mystery box location and there's a door that you have to open up. It's kind of like this mesh sort of screen and that has a up weapon upgrade as well as the generator to turn on jugs. So that's really important. You're gonna wanna turn that on. That's really it for this map, guys. It's not complicated. It's really not that big. So we're gonna move on to the bosses now. So the first one we're gonna look at isn't so much of a boss round, but is that kind of special objective-based round, so I'm gonna include it in here. And that is the survivor round, guys. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. This round's a bitch. It's, it, it's pretty hard. The problem with it isn't so much the killing of the zombies or you dying, although that does happen quite a bit. The problem is running out of ammo. Nine times out of 10, the survivor dies or I die because I'm out of ammo. If you're gonna be attempting this, what you have to do is make sure you're fully stocked up on ammo. The announcer will say like, hey, we gotta go pick up a guy and it'll like show you. And you have a good like minute or two to pick him up. So you really can upgrade both your guns, get max ammo and walk all across the map if you really need to, which is kind of nice. Contact grenades are huge on this. You need four contact grenades and like I said, max ammo. If you don't, you're not gonna do it. Usually what happens is you go halfway, use all your ammo up, the survivor dies. Then what happens if the survivor dies is you lose all your power. So you're stuck for about a minute to three minutes with no power and you just have to run around the map with no ammo. Really boring, really tedious. It's, it's annoying, honestly. As you can see here, I'm going halfway through. I thought I was doing a great job and then I run out of ammo. So I gotta go upgrade both my guns really quickly as he's just getting mauled up there. And I managed to actually do it this one. But like 
I said, the key to this is contact grenades and full ammo. I'm not sure if it's easier with more than one person, but solo, this really is annoying. You don't get a great reward, just like a gun upgrade. So it is what it is. I would recommend doing your best to do it, but either go balls to the wall, try to save him, or just say screw it and, and take the penalty because there's no sense half-assing it, losing all your ammo and having like two minute timeout from uh, power. So that's the survivor round guys. Like I said, annoying, but you can do it. It is doable. Now looking at the real boss, the Goliath. This guy is kind of a combination of the Panzer Soldat from Origins and George from Call of the Dead. Just really not your best friend. He's difficult, he is, but he has some weak points and you can exploit them and make it so it's not that difficult. The first thing, this isn't really a weak point, but just a recommendation is to use contact grenades. About 30 seconds into the round, zombies are gonna start spawning in, gonna make your life a little bit more difficult. And if you use contact grenades and just kind of send them his way, make sure they're behind him though, it'll damage him a little bit and take out any zombies in that area, which can be a little bit easier for you. But the real MVP, of this boss is the assault drone. So it's gonna take out zombies and damage him as well. So you're not gonna to have to worry about any zombies, which leaves you open to go after the Goliath. Now, what you gotta do for the Goliath is just one real, real obvious thing. He'll do this like exo jump EMP smash kind of thing, like Hulk smash, and he leaves himself really open when he does it. He like takes his shield away, as you're gonna see right here. He kind of like jumps up in the air and that is the moment for you to strike to just fire as many shots into his face as possible and unload you can probably get him killed maybe like four or five clips depending on uh the how good your gun is and everything you're gonna want a long range gun for this no shotties not gonna work the magnetizer honestly now that i think of it i haven't tried i have a feeling unless it's like something special like good against them it's gonna be awful because you have to get so close so really long range guns wait for him to open up shoot him and use the assault drone contact grenades also hope that is the goliath not easy the first time and it just gets harder as you go on <laughs> all right guys now the last thing i want to talk about today is basically just strategies where to train how to get to a high round what gun to use that kind of idea i have three main areas that i recommend for training uh, they're not all equal by far but i just want to go over the three that i recommend now the first one is burger town itself this is probably the second best area probably the easiest to train though. I would say second best if you're just trying to go like efficiently to a high round, but this is probably the easiest area. It's just really big and open. Plus it has a really sick trap, the Orden Strike. This area has a weapon upgrade as well as jug and a mystery box location. So it makes it really good again for that reason. But the problem with this area is if you have to go anywhere, you gotta go through those sewers and that makes it very dangerous. The area itself is easy, but that's the one problem with it. My favorite place to train is the Voltage. This area is awesome. What I do is I basically run around in a big circle and I get to the back of the map by that tanker truck as you see right here and I kind of just let them all line up and then just come at me and like they'll just, they just they just file down that hall really nicely and then I just line fire them. Really, really good for killing zombies quickly. So that's what I like about this area. It's also got a weapon upgrade, which is crucial, as well as a mystery box location. So overall, really, really awesome place to train. My personal favorite, plus you're more accessible to the rest of the map. The last area that I would recommend, and really I would only recommend this if you already had a person at Burger Town and here, is the other area, the command. So this is on the other side of spawn good enough not like amazing like I really wouldn't want to have to train here it's doable but like I said you got better areas if you want to now as for guns the gameplay you're watching here uh, I was just really unlucky I didn't get the two guns I wanted like at by, like round 20 I was just like you know what whatever I'm just gonna just use these the guns I would probably recommend would be the new Wonder Weapon, the Magnetron, and I would say an S12. I really think that's your best bet. The Magnetron's a little questionable, but fully upgraded, I think it does have what it what it what it needs. It's good for just like those high rounds, because although it's not unlimited ammo, it 
you know, it, it's it's a pretty good wonder weapon, whatever. And the S12 is just great for getting people out of your way. So that's really like my only advice for getting to a high round. Um, using traps like the trap on Burger Town, really, that is my favorite trap. Uh, that, those those are good, but you want to have good guns at the same time. So just you know, upgrade those. Uh, pretty straightforward from there. Train, do your thing. And uh, that's all I have for you guys today. So if you enjoyed that, I just want to ask you if you could please leave a like. This video took quite a bit of effort just getting everything sorted and getting the gameplay and all that stuff. So if you want to leave a like, that'd be cool. If you would like to subscribe, I am a big zombies guy, as you can probably tell. I do lots of zombies. I love zombies. If you like zombies, feel free to subscribe. I do a lot of Treyarch. also do Exo Zombies when it comes out. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.